events, it's time for a stitch and maker. I'm Alicia, and today we're going to talk about Mandalorians. If you weren't aware, Mandalorians are an armor-wearing society from the Star Wars franchise and are recently popularized by the TV show The Mandalorian. People have been fans of these Mandalorians for a long time, Boba Fett and Jango Fett being some of the more popular ones, and with Dave Filoni's The Clone Wars, they've gotten even some more traction, and now that the show The Mandalorian is very popular, Mandalorians are becoming more mainstream. I became a fan of The Mandalorians through the show The Mandalorian. I wasn't always a fan of this, but I am now, and I think that's still pretty cool. I'm not an expert on The Mandalorian culture. Uh, I have not done a whole depth of research into the culture of the Mandalorians, but I am a big fan, and I am wanting to be a part of this and show how big a fan I am by creating my own Mandalorian flight suit. So I will be doing all of the pieces. I will have the flight suit on soft parts, the flight suit hard parts, the armor, and the helmet, as well as accessories. I have a 3D printer and a sewing machine, and so I feel like I have all the tools I need to be able to make this work. So I hope that you guys will join me in my adventure with making a Mandalorian flight suit from top to bottom, from scratch. So I've decided to join the creed, so to speak, and make a Mandalorian flight suit myself. To start, I found a sewing pattern from Just Designs Norway for the Mandalorian soft parts based off the Din Djarin suit from the show. My pattern was sized for a tall male person, of which I am not, but it suited my needs and as I translated the pattern from small printer sized paper onto larger paper, the sizes matched up to meet my needs just fine. I would not recommend doing patterns this way and measuring far more carefully. I created the flight under jacket from a gray outdoor upholstery material. I wanted something sturdy and canvassy, but I may have underestimated how warm it would be. It is cozy. The flight jacket is made of 12 pieces, five for each side and the center front. The back has the shoulder detail and is separated by the zipper. The front has side details alongside the front center. The sleeves are in two parts, a long sleeve and a shorter one. The collar was added after I put the rest together, then the zipper to fasten. I hand sewed the entire jacket, except for the cuffs, because I started this project before I had a machine. I tried to keep the stitches as neat as I could. I did a running stitch for most of the seams, but for the sleeve attachment I did a stronger back stitch so I wouldn't pop the seam when I moved my arms. I finished off the cuffs with my machine. The flak vest was easier. I was able to do that by machine, and it has no sleeves, which are a weakness of mine. I used the pattern from the Din Djarin packet, but with a few modifications. The pattern asked that the front detail be done in several pieces, and I opted for a solid piece with sewn details once it was together. The entire piece is triple layered with batting in between a thin gray cloth. I didn't want it to be too bulky because it would be the third layer beneath the armor, and I didn't want to bulk myself up too much. I sewed the straps out of some scrap green fabric that I had from another project to add some color to the gray. The armor itself will velcro directly to this vest. Next time, I'll work on the middle vest, and I'll show you the process I have of creating a pattern and putting it together start to finish. I'm throwing out the pattern that was in the packet because I don't like it. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in this sort of thing, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. See you in the next video.